Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be going over the top 10 mistakes that people make when doing their 5 off $25 scenarios. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right down below this video and while you're at it, do your girl a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button and leave me a smile down in the comment section below because those are two quick, easy, and free ways that y'all can help support this channel and then take a second to share the video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, I wanted to put this video together because, well, I've been making YouTube videos for a while now, and I've been helping a lot of people behind the scenes try to, you know, figure out why their $5 off $25 scenarios do not work out for them. They don't work out as they plan them to. And typically, it's some of the most simple, little tiny things that we forget about once we get into the store. And trust me, I know that Dollar General can be frustrating. So we're going to try to make this as easy as possible. Let's go ahead and get into the top 10 mistakes that people make. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in with number one. And that is not scanning every single item with your DG app. Now, trust me, I know that this can be time consuming and it can be aggravating if the DG Wi-Fi isn't wanting to cooperate. But this is a very important step that can make or break your file of $25 scenarios for a couple of reasons, like prices can vary from store to store. Also, the prices that are shown on the shelves may not be the correct price. Did you guys know that the employees sometimes receive hundreds of price changes every single week and they're supposed to go around the store and change those prices so that task all by itself is a really hard task to keep up with and also keep in mind that if you are even one penny below that $25 subtotal before coupons are applied that means that that five off $25 coupon will not be applied to your transaction. Now, you also want to make sure that you scan every single item with your DG app to make sure that the digital coupons are attaching because even though a coupon might say that it is supposed to attach to all products, for example, we may have a one-off one digital coupon for all gain laundry products. Uh, once you get into the store and you scan the item, you might find out that, that coupon does not in fact work on all gain products it may only work on certain scents so again it is very important to scan every single item with your dg app all right now moving on into number two no internet connection and i know that several of you have probably been screaming at your phone or your tv for the last minute or so saying we would scan our items but we don't have any internet connection well here's what you need to do we need to fix that problem so Number one, when you go into the store, you may have to open up your actual Wi-Fi settings. You know, a lot of people just pull down that top notification menu, click on Wi-Fi, and expect it just to work. Well, sometimes with Dollar General, things don't just work. we got to do a little work to get the end result that we want. So, what you need to do if you want to use the DG Customer Wi-Fi is go into your Wi-Fi settings, look for DG Customer. Go ahead and click on that. Then you should see a screen that pops up that says accept terms and conditions. And then it will say continue to internet. Click continue to internet and you should be connected and good to go. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you can always go back and do the front door scan. Just get up there near the front of the store right by the front door and scan all of your items before you go up to check out but we do not want to have to do the front door scan forever so make sure that y'all tell your dollar general managers whether it's the store manager district manager tell a manager make sure that they know that the dg customer wi-fi does not work and also make sure that you start filling out those surveys on the bottom of your receipts. All right, now let's take a look at number three, and that is trusting the DG app to do your math. That is a big no, no. Now I know you're like crazy coupons, you're confusing me, you just told me to trust the app, scan all of the items, yes. But that is the only thing that we trust the DG app for is scanning to price check and scanning to make sure that the coupons attach. Do not trust the list or the cart to do your math, especially when you're doing your $5 off $25 scenarios. Instead, use the old tried and true 
paper, pencil, and a calculator. That is what I use every single Saturday, okay? We do not trust the app to do our math. All right, now number four goes right along with number three, and that is not double checking your math. So always double check your math, do it once, go back, double check it before you go up to the register, all right? Keep in mind that your subtotal must be $25 or more before coupons are applied. So basically we're building our transaction up to 25 and then we are subtracting all of the coupons. Keep in mind that one penny off can make or break your transaction. So this step is very important. All right, now moving on into number five, the instant savings rule. A lot of people forget about this rule and it's a pesky little rule to have to remember. But you have to keep in mind that if you are adding an instant savings deal into your five off $25 scenarios, you must add the amount of instant savings to your $25 subtotal before coupons because the instant savings comes off first at the register before any coupons are applied. So for example, let's say that we have an instant savings of $5 when we spend $15 on Scott brand products. And we want to add that in with our five of $25 scenarios. That way we can double up on the savings, right? So what we're going to need to do is add that $5 to our $25 subtotal. So starting off, we already know that we need to get our subtotal before coupons up to thirty dollars or more then when we get up to the register the instant savings will come off first that's going to drop us down to twenty five dollars then our file 25 will apply and then the rest of our coupons all right now moving on into number six and that is using the wrong price when building up a transaction now this one mainly has to do with sales sometimes people get confused on which price they should use should we use the regular price or the on sale price? So we always want to make sure that we scan to check for price changes or sales. And we are always going to use the current price that shows up in our DG apps. All right, moving on into mistake number seven, not having a backup plan for popular items. Now, we all know that we want to get in there and get those low out-of-pocket deals, but unfortunately, with DG's inventory, sometimes it just doesn't work out, okay? So, we always need to have three or four substitutions in mind. I usually put out a video every single week going over hundreds of deals and coupon matchups. That way, you guys will have plenty of substitutions, but you can also keep in mind, hey, what is an item that I'm going to end up paying regular price for anyways here in a couple of days? So, if I run out of substitutions, and I don't have any ideas left, I will always throw in a gallon of milk or a loaf of bread just to get me to my $25 mark. All right, mistake number eight is forgetting that DG isn't perfect. We all know it. We all wish that it was, but unfortunately it's not. So when you go in to do your file $25 scenarios, I recommend that you always have a paper file off $25 coupon just in case anything happens with those digitals. All right, moving on into number nine. Now for some people, their file off $25 scenarios worked out perfectly for them. They just didn't understand how to read the receipt. So you could be reading your receipts wrong. Just know that the file $25 coupon shows up as a store discount. And you should see this under each item or at least most of your items. And if you want to take it a step further, you can go through there and add up those store discounts and it should equal $5. All right, guys. Now, number 10, I want you all to please keep in mind that the employees have no control over digital coupons. And this could go either way. Some people believe that their employees are stopping their digital coupons from working. And some people believe that they have all of the control and they are picking and choosing which coupons can be applied to their transaction. None of that is true. They have no control. All you have to do is put your items up there, let the cashiers ring them up, type in your phone number and hit enter, and then your digital coupons should be applied. So if something goes wrong and the digital coupon doesn't apply, I promise you it is not the employee just being mean, just to be mean, okay? So if the transaction does not work out the way you expected it to, what you need to do is void the transaction. That way you can keep the digital coupons on your account and then you can kind of 
refresh, try and figure it out, and then try again. Or just save those coupons for another trip. And don't forget that being kind will take you a long way when it comes to couponing and penny shopping. All right, guys. So there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And before you go, don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe, turn on those notifications, hit that thumbs up button, and leave me a smile down in the comment section below. All right, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope y'all have a beautiful day and I will see you on the next one.